I was doing some tests with Ignis and I found a way to AFK farm Ignis. Now, excuse my raspy voice, I'm fighting a bad cold right now. The technical part of me was happy to find a way to just farm Ignis. And this method involves absolutely no fighting at all. So if you're not a fighting type and you are just a technical Minecrafter and just want to have Ignitium or whatever, this is the video for you. You don't need risk to get the reward. I gotta say, it is the laziest way to fight Ignis that I could ever fine. Now, if you've watched my BMM, you know that there are two minibus guarding the Ignis arena called the Ignited Revenant. But these two also can be dealt without fighting. Let me demonstrate. Hey everyone, my name is Gertfang and let's just jump into it. First of all, you're gonna need a potion of invisibility. This will still require you to go in a fortress, fight some blaze and get some blaze rod to brew the potion. The other thing you'll need is a bucket of powder snow, a piston, and a lever. We want to go near the Ignited Revenant and show the hitbox, place down a powdered snow, a piston, and when you push the Ignited Revenant in the powdered snow, it's gonna start to take damage. In fact, now looking at this, I think you don't even need to push the Ignited Revenant in for the powdered snow to take effect. Yeah, you don't even need to push the revenant, so ignore the piston part. You just need one bucket of powdered snow and one potion of invisibility to uh, the BC. And it takes roughly a insert amount of time here to kill the ignited revenant. So you can just go back down and wait for it to die. And once it dies, it will leave behind the burning ashes and you'll see it through the ground so you can even wait under the arena to see when it died. And you need these burning ashes to summon Ignis. Now for the next part, you won't even need the invisibility nor the powdered snow, cause Ignis is immune to powdered snow, we've discovered that in our BMM. But when you summon Ignis, he will destroy every block when he spawn in a certain radius around him. If we do a test like this and like this, when we summon Ignis, every block here will be destroyed, three blocks apart. So three blocks up and three blocks on each side. And this arena will be the farm arena, where you come back here to kill Ignis when you have more burning ashes from other arena. So you will want to build three blocks high, one, two, three, and then build one, two, three, four block of sand. And now all you need to do is summon Ignis and run. Usually you have enough time to go here and hide so that when he spawns, the sand falls on his head and you have a dying Ignis. And you see, it takes quite a while to just wait here. So you can just stay here safe, just maybe build yourself a cocoon or something so ghasts or other mobs don't spawn on you. Especially if you play mudded and wait for Ignis to die. Ah, oh, there we go. He's down. And let's collect our Ignitium. Oh, and the music disc. And that's one way to AFK Ignis, but you're a technical Minecrafter. You're gonna go more lazy. Can we go more lazy? Yes, we can. Build one, two, three, and four blocks. Then take your, s then take your sticky piston. Place it on the fourth block. And now what you want to do is to bring your redstone to a safe spot. So go at least 10 block in a direction, put yourself a wall so Ignis doesn't see you, and connect your piston with a lever. And then just like that, when you summon Ignis, like that, you can just activate the piston and automate the death sentence. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the laziest way I can find to kill Ignis. It's probably gonna get patched once it's released. So don't expect to be doing it yourself. But finding weird way to <coughs> But finding weird way to farm a mob is something that I really like to do. And big technical YouTuber have found a way to farm like every vanilla mobs possible, even the wither and the ender dragon. So it's not a surprise that you can find a way to farm Ignis. Even if this method will be patched, there's surely another way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to sub why is he not seeing me? Oh, the block is blocking his vision. So you don't even need a wall. Well, you need a wall to activate the block so we can he can't see you then. But once it's activated, you can just do your stuff. 
You can even have a base in here. You can have your killing chamber within your storage system. <sighs> this could be a great idea in the future. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Go follow my Twitter. It seems that I have a Twitter and I never talk about it. And uh, there's the Discord link in the description if you want to talk more about mods. If you have more questions about Ignis, they have a Discord. Elender's Cataclysm have a Discord. You can also join my Discord. The creator is in my Discord, so uh, you can probably find a way to get the link under CurseForge. So, uh, really great mod. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. It's another video with Ignis. Expect more in the future. I really like that mob, so uh, I might milk this concept. <laughs> Don't hate me for that, please. Okay. Bye. Bye. Wait, I can hit him? Uh oh. Ah! Never mind. My voice. Uh. Huh? Oh.